Hi there, my name is Sheridan and I thought I would introduce myself by telling you a story. So in high school, I was enrolled in a rigorous classical homeschool education program and I was totally intimidated by all of my classmates because I compared my weaknesses to their strengths. What I didn't realize is that by comparing my weaknesses towards their strengths, it stunted my ability to create value in that classroom. So instead, what I did is I focused all of my efforts onto my strengths, which was athleticism. And it wasn't the worst thing in the world. It definitely panned out and it created a lot of success for me athletically. However, I wish that I would have applied more effort into improving on my weaknesses in the classroom to get them closer to my strengths. So after I graduated, I, look back, I looked back and realized the process that I should have taken and the process that I now use to improve on my strengths. And that is the Slight Edge Mentality. It's a book by Jeff Olson. And it's basically um, compounding little decisions and actions to create the desired results that you want. So I think the steps that you can take to improve on your weaknesses, which in turn creates more value and at least pushes you closer to the cap of your potential to create value in that context, is by first defining your terms. So defining what your weaknesses are, defining what your strengths are, and then analyzing that and asking yourself, why is this particular thing my weakness? Why is this particular thing my strength? And typically the answer is, this is your weakness because you don't practice and invest time into it. And this is your strength because that is what you're all about. That's what you focus on. That's what you work towards. That's what you naturally do now that you are in the habit of doing it. So once you have defined your terms of your weakness and your strength, there's a few steps you can take, but the first I think you ought to take. The first step is deciding how to improve your weakness. And improving your weakness is something that you ought to do in order to grow and in order to practice doing hard things. So you can use the slight edge mentality of taking little steps to work towards your goal to improve in that. And just because you won't reach an elite or authoritative level in what trade is now your weakness, you at least know that every day you have done something to become a better version of yourself. So the second option there is focusing on your strength and then deciding if you want to focus all of your energy um, on using that to create more opportunities for you and invest into that more. However, I think at the same time, you still need to be aware that you're only as strong as your weakest link. That's true at least athletically, but I know that you can use this mentality and this theory um, socially or academically or in the workplace as well. So define your terms of your weakness and your strength then analyze and ask, why is it this way? And then what can I do to improve it? And I think one of the most important things to realize is that comparison is harmful in a lot of ways. It causes a lot of insecurity or a lot of tension, but it also stunts your ability to create value in that context. So look at your weakness, and then if you are going to compare yourself to people, compare your weakness to the people that have your weakness as a strength. And then realize that this is an opportunity for growth and an opportunity to improve yourself. And it also creates the habit of growing. It creates the habit of doing that slight edge mentality of building on a little bit more every day. So I use this mentality athletically which created um, the desired results because I'd set out a plan and I knew exactly how to get there and exactly the amount of time that I needed, the amount of effort I had to put into it. So what I wish I would have done in high school is taken that slight edge mentality that I applied to athletics and apply it to academics so that I could have created more value in the classroom and in turn walked away with a more valuable experience. I still grew a lot in that year, but in hindsight, I know that I could have created so much more for myself there. So. My challenge for you today is ask yourself, what are your weaknesses and what are your strengths? How you can change that, why it is, and then apply the slight edge mentality into improving and then keep track of it as well. Because if you don't have that baseline, like if I didn't first keep track of where I was at athletically, and then over time seeing that slight edge kind of curve and grow towards success, then I would have had no idea how much I'd grown and really that effort would have been a waste of time. So define your terms, 
ask why, ask how, ask what you can do next, and keep track of it to watch that slight edge curve go up.